Uh, hello. This is a little awkward. Uh, hello. It's been a little while. Sorry for the lack of keyboard content, or rather just content in general. Midterms and medical papers and projects have just been really kicking my ass. But luckily, it is past me now, at least until after spring break, where I have still have to take a few midterms. But those are not as stressful as the ones I just took, so I should be in the clear. I have spring break next week, and at the moment, I'm just catching up on all the content that I lost the motivation to create, and I am back. So I have three videos lined up. This, which you're watching now, I have another one with a Wu-Ting keyboard, but my SSD got corrupted, so I need to dig out the footage from that corrupted drive. And I have a K95 that also is being facelifted for a friend, so all these are projects for my friends. So this is an iQnix F96. And unfortunately, yes, he made me buy 8K gaming keycaps because he liked the industrial look of this over the coral look of the regular F96. I won't judge him, this is his board, I only did as he asked. However, a PSA, Akko switches, especially lavender purples, uh, they are not south-facing proof. So because these are cherry profile keycaps, they actually will have interference and quite a lot of interference as well. So in order to actually remedy this, I had to take a polia stem, which are basically holy panda stems, and I put them in there, and this entire row is like a hybrid Franklin switch, but it still feels somewhat similar, so it works. So that's just a PSA for anyone out there. I'll include a little close-up in a little bit. But otherwise, enjoy. This is the keyboard that I've been working on for the last, like, week. And honestly, it sounds pretty fucking slappy. Take a listen. <laughs> 